Part one, information you need to know before designing your landscape. Chapter one, amending soil. Soil is extremely important. When we take good care of the soil, it will take good care of our plants, better than we possibly can. Keeping this simple, 95% of the time, your soil will greatly benefit from two or three inches of chicken compost tilled into the surface prior to planting. You can also substitute grapeseed compost, which they have at American Soils in San Rafael. These materials are great for five reasons. They have more nitrogen, the stuff that makes plants grow and look green, than almost any manure available. It is weed free. Some manures, such as horse manure, are not. It is readily available at a reasonable price in both bags and by the yard. Chicken compost is, the grapeseed compost is uh, something you have to buy in the yard. It comes mixed with composted bark that combine to make a lot of spongy organic matter. which improves water retention and helps bring oxygen into the typical heavy marine soil. It is an organic form of fertilizer that does not rely on chemicals. One of the benefits of this is the slow release aspect of, of an organic compost, which will last for a number of years. You can get chicken manure by the bag at Home Depot and other places or by the yard at American Soil in San Rafael. Because it is so high in nitrogen, it will burn plants if it makes direct contact with the roots. Mix it thoroughly with a rototiller or shoveling extensively. Mix it with 50% native soil. So if you put four inch four inches down or three inches down, you'd need to go at least eight inches deep and mix it quite well. Uh, two inches is, is usually quite adequate. The best way to mix chicken compost with native soil is by rototilling. Before tilling, make sure that there is no irrigation or other utilities, such as low voltage lighting wires, within 12 inches of the surface. Do this by looking carefully at the areas you plan to till and digging a few test holes with a shovel to see if you find any evidence of buried utilities. If you are tilling steep slopes or amending soil in heavily planted areas, I suggest a mini tiller. These are much easier to operate than larger tillers. They are also considerably cheaper. For less than $400, you can buy a mini tiller with a Honda engine at Home Depot and that works fairly well. You can also buy an electric rototiller on Amazon. The key is to get something with high horsepower. For large flat areas I suggest you rent a Barretto tiller. While it is large and very heavy it can till twice as fast as any tiller I know without throwing a belt because it utilizes hydraulic motors. You can rent a Barretto at Tam Valley Rentals if they're still open, I haven't checked in a few years, and at United Rentals in San Rafael. 415-642-1300. Expect to spend around $120 for four hours and get a lot of, of tilling done if you are well organized. These tillers are heavy, but they come with their own little trailer. Uh, you'll need a tow hitch. Rototilling two to four inches of chicken compost into native soil is better than importing eight inches of already mixed topsoil for several reasons, which I'll outline here. When amendments are tilled into native soil, the roots of plants are more likely to keep growing down into the native soil when they reach the depth where the amendment stops. 
By contrast, when topsoil is brought in and placed on top of the native soil, it creates a sudden transition between two different types of soil. As a result, it is more likely that plant roots will not make the transition into the native soil and will stay shallow. Shallower roots require more water and do not provide the stability of deeper roots in windstorms or heavy rains. When topsoil is added to native soil without rototilling, both rainwater and irrigation will penetrate the topsoil and tend to sheet sideways when it hits the native soil, rather than saturating the soil deeply. This is, in turn, further discourages deep root growth. By rototilling the amended by rototilling amendment rich in organic matter into native soil, water will more deeply enter the soil, encouraging your roots to grow deeper as well. Spreading two to four inches of chicken compost is half the labor cost of spreading eight inches of topsoil. This can amount to savings of thousands of dollars on the average landscape project. If you wish to go the extra mile, you can always take soil samples of your soil and of possible amendments to determine the exact way to amend your soil. You can also opt to sprinkle various organic amendments on your soil prior to rototilling the chicken compost. Be aware that chicken manure smells. The more it smells, the better it is for your soil. However, out of consideration for neighbors, and your own enjoyment, be aware that chicken manure in bags smells less than when it is ordered by the yard. Don't open the bags or order the delivery until just before you are ready to spread the chicken and rototill it into the ground. It smells much less right after being tilled into the soil. Mulching your chicken compost with two to four inches of wood chips eliminates the rest of the smell. Since this is best done after you plant and do any irrigation, having your plants and irrigation materials ready will allow you to eliminate the smell as quickly as possible. On steep slopes that you rototill, you may need to tamp the soil down so that it does not all fall away if it is too loose or you can till the first few inches and then hand mix the soil deeper in the specific planting holes. Do not amend soil except in areas you want plants to grow, as this will only encourage weeds.